it's heartbreaking not to be able to just go see your dad. That's been the reality, though, for Tom Marquez since mid-February. He was in the hospital down in, in Evansville with pneumonia. When Marquez's dad, also named Tom, got out, he went back to the nursing home where he had lived for the past two years, only to be isolated after several residents there tested positive for COVID-19. His dad was not one of them. But that was when they kind of started telling people that you can't go in and see people. Their only communication from then on, phone calls and FaceTime. But staying away never got any easier, especially when Marquez's dad got sick again recently. He was carrying a fever. He was, he was began carrying symptoms of the virus. So they thought it was important to go ahead and run a second test. And they had told my mom that the only way she would be allowed in is if he, he was in his final time. That time came Monday morning for the retired pastor and his wife of 52 years. Mom went in there, held his hand, and um, he kind of looked at her and just took a deep breath, and that was, that was it. 24 hours later, Marquez learned why his father died, COVID-19. When it hits you personally, it, it's, it makes you step back and realize that, hey, this is the real deal. That's why Marquez hopes that states will take their time in getting back to life as usual. I just think it needs to be done carefully and in phases. If we go too fast, we could relapse, if you will. He understands the toll this has taken on people's lives and their livelihoods. It's one thing to be stuck in your house and not being able to do anything and just kind of think, oh man, this is just, everybody's overreacting. But Marquez knows the personal toll it's taken too. His family is just one of thousands who've paid the price. When it comes knocking on your front door, like it did mine yesterday, it becomes a real reality.